your help. I'm here because the country needs your help. You know, a lot of you worked really hard in 2008 in our campaign. And the reason you worked so hard wasn't because you thought it was going to be a cakewalk. Now, when you decide to support a presidential candidate named Barack Hussein Obama, <laughs> then you know that you know, this is not a sure thing. <laughs> the reason you guys worked so hard wasn't just because of me, it was because you shared a vision about what America is all about. You shared a vision about who we are as a people. And that vision, that vision said that you know, we don't just leave people to fend for themselves. We don't just let the powerful play by their own rules. It was a vision of America where we're all in it together, where everybody who works hard has a, get, has a chance to get ahead, no matter what they look like, no matter where they come from, not just those at the very top, but everybody that that was the recipe for American success. That was the vision that we shared. That was the change we believed in. We knew it wouldn't be easy, we knew it wouldn't be quick, but when you think back over the last three years, I want you to know that because of what you did in 2008, we've begun to see what change looks like. <laughs> A woman deserves an equal day's pay for an equal day's work. That's the kind of change we believe in. Change is the decision that we made to rescue the American auto industry. There were a million jobs at stake. There were those who said, let Detroit go bankrupt. We didn't do it. And today, GM is back on top as the world's number one auto maker. American auto industry is back, and they're making better cars and more fuel-efficient cars than ever before. Yeah. That's what changes. Change is the decision that we made to stop waiting for Congress to do something about our oil addiction and finally raise fuel efficiency standards on cars, and by the middle of the next decade, we're going to be driving American-made cars that get almost 55 miles a gallon. You don't have to hide 
who you love in order to serve the country that you love. We Right now is to go back to the very same policies that got us into this mess in the first place. 